If you want to know how I got this soft, girly, holiday glam look, oh, I got to give y'all a little low light moment because it's a shimmery, the shimmers, the shimmer is shimmering. I hope you guys stay tuned for the tutorial. <laughs> We're gonna jump right in. This is the brush set I'm using from P. Louise. That foundation right there is from Charlotte Tilbury. Welcome in. Literally, we're jumping right in. Welcome in, welcome in. If you're new, hey, my name is Diana. I slay, I blend, I do all of that. So, you know, pull up a chair and enjoy your show. So, <laughs> so we're just going to apply the foundation and I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. I haven't done a sponge in forever I remember when all I did was use sponges and I went to brushes and then I used both of them now I'm back with the sponge well I'm gonna still go between but we're gonna blend out the foundation and I'll be back Now I'm choosing my concealer and I decided to go in with a warm sand just because I didn't want a super highlighted look. So I'm literally going to contour my entire middle of my face <laughs> just to give me a different look. I kind of wanted to just switch up things in this video. So yeah, we're going to put down the concealer and start to blend it out with a puff i've been doing the makeup puff blending for a little while now but i'm absolutely in love with it Now I'm going in with the puff just to make sure everything is blended and I'm going in with my RCMA powder and I'm going to set everywhere I put concealer. I didn't really contour in the video but I did contour with my cream which is my black opal foundation stick in chocolate. I really didn't include any of those clips for whatever reason but yeah I softly contoured with that and I have no brows. I cannot believe I did my makeup with no brows, but the brows at the end is, is, is eating me up. So yeah, so we're going to go in with the P. Louise base and we're going to get ready to do some eyeshadow. Now it's time for eyeshadow. So we're going to take this blush palette from Juvia's Place. I've been loving Juvia's Place. Like I literally gravitated towards <laughs> Juvia's Place all year. But they eat me up too. So we're just going to take this on one of the P. Louise brushes. And we're just going to carve out the crease. Another blush. But this one is from Plain to Makeup by Yolando. And we're using this just to deepen it up. I don't know, like blushes for eyeshadow, brows last. I'm loving it though. I'm loving it. Now we're going in with another Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette this time. And we're taking that dark brown and we're going to further create the halo. I didn't know what I wanted to do. The blushes do the talking. So this is the look we came up with, which is a halo. Now we're taking another brown from that same Juvia's Place palette and we're just gonna create like a crease color. Now I'm taking my two bases. That was in pink, I believe, or petal pink and the same zero one from before. I mixed them because the petal pink is like really, really pink and I wanted a soft pink. So I'm just going in and I'm touching up the halo. 
I didn't even know I was going to do a halo. I literally like just dove in. Now we're going in with Peaches and Cream Pixie. This is a pigment. It is so pretty. You know I need my definition. So going back with the Juvia's palette again. And we're just going to create some definition. And we're going to blend it out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Remember what you do on one, you do on the other. Add the definition. We're going to add the dark brown and the light brown. And we're just going to blend and create some magic. This is so pretty. Oh my god. I love this look. Like so girly and pretty so we're gonna just contour the nose now we're taking that light brown and i'm gonna go in my lower lash line i was gonna say my waterline absolutely not i'm just gonna blend that out with the dark brown first and then the light brown or the light brown and then the dark brown but i know i used both of them and now i'm going to chisel out my nose um when i'm doing like soft girl looks i don't really contour my nose as heavily as i would before or in another situation so i just try to keep it really really soft so that's why i really want my nose to have a lot of definition i didn't highlight on my forehead too much but you can always fake that now we're going to go into the brow so i'm gonna let you guys you see i took a deep breath i'm gonna let you see how i created the brow and i'll be back in a minute Okay, so I use Juvia's Place again. Child, y'all need the sponsor you at this point. But yeah, I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer. I think that is in 15. And I'm taking another P. Louise brush. And I'm just taking it. And it's like, I was shaking. I was actually sweating during this tutorial. And I know I've been doing makeup for a long time. But I've never, like, did a no brow look. And literally right at the end, I'm doing my brows. So I'm taking the concealer and I'm patting it into place. I'm placing it, then I'm patting it, and then I'm going to use another brush to blend it out, as you see right now. So you don't need to use three brushes, but child, I wanted to make sure that these brows were going to look good. So I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So now I'm going in with the crayon case and a Morphe liner and bite me. Morphe need to holla at your girl too because I'll be, they be eating me up and yeah, I'm always, look, my mirror is even Morphe. I'm using a Morphe child. Anyway, so we're taking bite me and we're going to line it. It's actually a dupe for cork if you love cork and then I'm popping on, I believe it's clean kisses. I think it's clean kisses y'all. If not, it's private party. But I have both of them and they're very similar. So we're just popping on the lip gloss from the crayon case. And like it just complemented the look so well. <sighs> this makeup was so pretty. So I'm just going to use the brush and that sponge just to push in the baking powder. There's no product on either one of these. I'm just going to show you me taking my hair down in a time lapse because to be honest with you, the hair complemented the makeup. So I'm going to let y'all see this. Why not?
now I'm taking Fenty Blur Powder. Everything is blur nowadays. Um, in 310. And I'm just putting that under my eyes. And I'm going to also just lightly contour. I believe I contoured with the face powder from Morphe. The one that I'm using the mirror for to just do the entire face look basically. <laughs> Because I wanted something soft to actually use my own face powder. That's a trick too. And this is the Play to Makeup by Yolando palette. I used it on my eyes and now I'm using it for the blush because that's, that's what it is. It's a blush palette. But you don't have to use that only for blush. Use it on your eyes like I did. But you see how this pink blush just, it just ate me up. Just ate me up. Like look at it. It is so pretty. just you know doing some final blending and everything just to make sure there's no harsh lines and I'm gonna spray my face with this Milani make it last be careful with this cuz I don't know for some reason it just makes your eyeliner smudge so yeah just be careful guys oh my god I'm obsessed with my soft girl makeup routine with brows last who would have thunk who would have thunk doing brows last would eat so much? It's cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how I got this soft holiday look. Because you know girls that love pink. You know, pink everything is like, it's a, it's a mood. It's, it's a holiday mood. But... I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and until my next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.